Hello, this is Burl with Digital Woodcarver again, and we're going to do a quick little um, uh, tutorial video on doing a profile in V27. First thing we're going to do is we're just going to cut out a six inch circle. So we're going to go up here to arc. We'll do a sketch or coordinate. Um, coordinate. We can click on that. Um, zero, zero for X and Y, Z. Put a radius of three inches. We want this to be six inches. So we click OK. And there it's our circle. We want that to be zoomed um, where we can see it all. We just hit do fit to all. If you're drawing circles and arcs up here, you can do a sketch. There's a few others, but coordinates is uh, where you actually put in the numbers on that. So once we're done with that, we've got a circle. Now we're going to cut it out. So we come over here to Cam Tree. Go up to Cam Defaults and right click and do a new job. And once we do that, we got to go through the Stock Wizard. And if we just click on that, the defaults there, and click OK, it will automatically fill in the area that you've got drawn up. So once we've got that done, then we've got all our things here to create feature. One thing you want to make sure is it's got DWC V27 uh, mill post. That's the post processor. Right click edit and select on that if you do not have that coming up. And then we're going to come down here to me, machine setup. We're going to do a mill two axis. Select geometry is the first thing. This is our uh, wizard that pops up. We're going to select a geometry. We're going to select on the circle until it turns red. Move our mouse off. See how it stays red? We'll hit our space bar. Or you can click up here on this check mark. But we're going to hit our space bar. That makes the wizard pop back up. We're going to go to next. Here, we're going to cut this half inch deep. So we're going to go ahead and leave that at a half inch. If it needed to be different, we could have changed it right there. That's the total depth of it. Actually, we may add about a 30 second, be at 0.53. That makes sure it goes all the way through. We do next. Uh, we can do rough and finish, but we're going to eliminate the finish because we're just going to cut this out rough. This is also where we could uh, select different features. But we're going to go to next. We're not going to change anything on posting. Bit. This is where we're going to select. We'll go to our tool library and we're going to select on a quarter inch right here we click OK we click OK again and what we're going to do is we're going to obviously see up here the diameter make sure it's a quarter inch but we'll make sure our cutting feed rate and a plunge feed rate see how those are off we're going to uncheck that we'll make that a 15 we'll make this a 10 we might be able to go faster than that but we'll leave it at that for now you can uncheck and do it on the fly if you want we'll go to next this is where you're going to determine whether you're going to cut on the outside or inside of your circle. Off means it's going to cut on it. Left is going to be on one side and right is going to be on the other. So we will try left to start with. If it's wrong, we'll come back and change it. Now side allowance, we want to make sure we go up here and put that to zero. We don't want a side allowance. That would be if we want to make a shim off. We are going to do this in multiple steps. Um, we're going to do less than uh, about an eighth inch, so I'm going to put in 0.12, hit return, that's going to do five, I'm going to put in 0.15, let's see what that does, there we go, a little over an eighth, four cuts, we'll cut that in, um, numbers there, then we'll hit next, Not nothing on the leads, we'll do straight corners, we're okay with that, once we get that done, we're going to come down here and hit compute, Okay, see how the green line went on the inside? We want that on the outside because we want that to be a circle. Come back over to Feature Mill 2 Axis. Right click and edit. And we're going to come down here where it says Parameters. Whoops, I'm sorry. Go to Patterns. And we're going to click Right. Now hit Compute. See how that went to the outside. You also, if you hold your control down and click your right mouse button, we're going to rotate that. See how there's four lines there showing us how we're going to do it. So that's a tool path. We click up here, top view, brings it back straight on, zoom. Okay, now we have the tool path. 
we want to come over here to milling job right click and do a post and save as we're going to call this a circle and I would highly suggest putting it in some place I'm going to put it on my desktop because I'm going to do this for a for someone so it's a six inch circle so we're going to call it circle six and we're going to save and that is the tool path for that circle I'm also going to save the bobcad file we're going to do that on the desktop too call that I'll find spell circle here circle six and save it that way that file is saved too and that is it on the um, tutorial on cutting something out